The current console application isn't efficient because it retrieves all the information about all the users in your organization, but it only displays three properties. So I can use a uh, query parameter to limit the amount of information that's returned by Microsoft Graph to optimize that query. So let's go back to our main method where we're making the request. And so you can see we're making the request right here to client.users. So what I'm gonna do is right after this request, I'm gonna add in another statement here for a select statement. And what that's gonna allow me to do is it's gonna allow me to define just the properties that I want to have returned um, in my query. So I'll choose u.displayName and u.mail. So that's only gonna fetch two properties. So I can get the, make the exact same request, so .NET build followed by .NET run. And we should see the exact same thing in our results um, because we're still displaying only the display name and the mail address, but a lot more stuff or a lot fewer, uh, a lot less data is coming across. In fact, you can see we're making a reference to the ID um, of the user up here on line 32, but it's not showing up because we didn't say that was one of the properties uh, that we want to return. So let's do a little bit more work with this. I can limit this even further to just give me the top 15 results. So I can do that by, at, after the, my select statement, I can add a top uh, query or top parameter. And so when I run it this time, it's only going to show me the top 15 users. And here enough, you can see a much smaller list of users are being returned this time. Now, another thing that we can do is I can also have Microsoft Graph sort the list of uh, users that come back uh, so that I don't have to do that in my own code. So I'm gonna do that by, again, after the top uh, query, I'm gonna use the order by, and I'm gonna pass in a property. So I wanna sort them by their display name, but I wanna do it in descending order. So I'll say display name, and DS, DESC. So by default, it's gonna be in ascending order, but I'm gonna flip it around and say, nope, we want it in descending order where um, it'd be like Z through A instead of A through Z. So now we can see that we have that showing up for us uh, as well. Now, I can further refine the results by selecting users, but only have a specific surname. So like, I only want people that have a last name of A that starts with an A, a B, or a C. Now to do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to comment out our order by, we're not gonna use that one, but I am going to add in a filter. Now the filter statement, you're gonna write this rather lengthy query here, but all the query is gonna be is you're really just gonna say, semicolon should be on the outside. I'm gonna say starts with surname A. So what that's doing is, is that's saying, I, I'm only looking for the surname property that begins with the letter A using by using the starts with um, operator. Uh, so what I can then do is I can also add in a Boolean statement here. So I can see where it's, uh, or it starts with a B, or it starts with a C. And I'll save my changes. So now let me go ahead and run this. And now we can see we're getting even a smaller list because now we're only seeing people whose last names or surnames begin with the letter A, B, or C. And so in this case, we only have five users come back. So in this demo, you saw how I created an Azure AD app and a .NET console app that retrieved user data from Microsoft Graph. And then I used query parameters, specifically the select, top, order by, and, and filter to limit and manipulate the data that's returned by Microsoft Graph to optimize our query.